So I've come over because I thought that it'd be a nice day to empty the shed and have a good old tidy. It ended up that I, I ended up taking up most of the window, smashing up most of the shelves and causing a complete chaos on my plot. <laughs> what have I done? So do you remember this nice neat plot that didn't look like a, a junkyard? It gets worse down here, honestly. Oh my God. All this came out of this shed, so I've taken out the window from here and I've taken out the door, all the shelves, everything. So it's a complete frame. So the plan is that I'm going to um, put shelves across this way and this way and I'm going to put double doors here. I'm going to have to take these plants out and put a nice step going in. So this will be more like a summer house and somewhere to enjoy in the summer. And then this will be all glass across the front here as well. <sighs> what have I done? I'm sure it'll look amazing when it's done, but why am I taking on more work again? Right, let's get it done. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see. I am exhausted. I've made some shelves, I've fitted all the windows now except for the door. I don't know how I'm going to build that, but we'll, that'll be another project for another day because I need to go home now. So the pot and shed looks lovely, all the plant pots are in and everything's very organised in here. The weather's going to be great for the next couple of days, so that should be all right. I'll have to show you a little quick look around now. So as you can see, I've made like a little um, shelving area here for some of my pots and all my little potions and things like my tomato feeds and my seaweed and potato fertilizer. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. I've made a little potting area and some storage areas underneath for bits and bobs. This area then, I put my watering cans and my, sorry if you can, um, the sunshine in, and all my sieves. And this area here, I just need to sort out now. I'm not even going to show you the state of the plot. It is horrific. I have absolutely trashed my plot. But it'll be worth it. I'm going to have a little quick tidy up now before I go and put everything away. And then I'm going to have to come here for another day. So, right, a little quick tidy, then I'm off home. Good morning. It is a glorious day again today. The sun is beaming. It's 8am. I've come over really early because I really want to have a good start on that potting shed and hopefully try and finish it today. I've taken the front off. It's looking okay. It's okay, but the plot at the bottom needs a really good sort out because I've pulled everything out of the sheds to reorganise back in so everything's in the right sheds. Tools in one shed, all the potting things in the other. Let's just get that done. From up here world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me we meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Almost that time where you can get those glorious Jersey Royal potatoes from, well, obviously Jersey. So I contacted Potato House and I was like, have you got any international kidney potatoes? Which is obviously the variation that Jersey uses. And they was like, sure. They sent me some to trial some. So I'm going to grow some the traditional way that they do in Jersey. Legally, I cannot call them Jersey Royal potatoes because they're not grown in Jersey. However, I am going to grow them the traditional way of growing them in, you know, soil, compost, manure, and obviously this special ingredient, seaweed. So I'm gonna grow them now in buckets, one with the seaweed and one without, and I'm gonna see if there's a taste difference later on in the season. So thank you very much, Potatoes, for sending me those potatoes. I'm now gonna do the nice trial and we'll, we'll see the difference when I harvest them in a couple of months. So time. I've added a layer of manure in the bottom. That, I think that's gonna be the first part of my mulch. And then gonna add 
to see potatoes from potato house to the mix we're going to put four of these seed potatoes in each bucket they're really really nice potatoes i gotta be honest so thank you very much for those potato house they have started the chit so i'm going to place two there and another two here so I've added the seed potatoes. What I thought I'd do now is, I thought I'd get some seaweed. Ah, oh, slimy stuff. And I'll add it to this one bucket. So this bucket will be the ones that's traditionally grown the way with seaweed. And this one won't. This one, I'm gonna use some rotted manure and compost. So I'm gonna add the layers, like so. A little bit more and then I'm gonna get the rest onto here so this is just compost so what I'll do now is I'll add the other two potatoes opposite sides like so now I'll add the remaining on of soil and on this one I'm going to use the rest of the seaweed. So this one has been fertilised with seaweed, mulched on the top with seaweed and this one has had nothing. I'll label them up, I've not added any feed in this one. I figured that I would just use manure and seaweed so that it's got a fair trial rather than me adding feed to this one and this could have a better harvest and better taste. So I'm now going to label them international kidneys. So this one's the seaweed. So I'm going to write on this seaweed. And the date. And the same on this one. And there you have it. I have got them both labelled up. International kidneys. These ones are mulched in seaweed and compost. And this one is just in compost. And hopefully in a few weeks time when I harvest them, the one with the seaweed will have a better taste. And if that's the case, I will always grow them this way. I'll pop a link in the description for Potato House. Go take a look at the array of potatoes that they've got on offer this year. It's an amazing uh, selection. And i got to be honest, I was so excited when I seen that they had international kidneys. You can get them anywhere else, to be honest. I tried so many places. So there's nothing better than growing some fresh potatoes, digging them out the ground or in a bucket and boiling them and putting them straight on your plate in the summer for salads. I can't wait. I've had a good tidy up here today. I've moved a few things around and just had a good sort out. I still haven't finished the potting shed. I need to make some double doors for the front. So I just think that's going to be a good day's work, but I've just battled through the day of planting and getting things out and just giving it a good old tidy. I'll show you from the top. So as you can see, the daffodils are still in full bloom. The garlic's looking lovely and my spring cabbages. I'm so excited to try them as well. These beds now are completely empty, mulched, fed, compost. These are ready for my cabbages, and I'm not sure where I'm putting this one yet. Brought the onions out from, my, from inside the greenhouse because now they, you know, they're all ready just to carry on. These ones have springed up and they're just bulbing up already. The shallots over in the corner, the same thing. I've had to give the um, garlic a feed because it was starting to show little bits of yellow and stuff and on the tips. So the best thing for that is like, you know, some chicken manure pellets or like a seaweed feed. So I've given it both. As you can see, all the way across the front, I've got a lot of my potato buckets out now. They are my first and second early potatoes. And in the greenhouse, it is looking lovely. My summer cabbages are looking lovely. I've still got some potatoes all chitting and my shallots and my extra onion sets, spinach, 
radishes, kales, broccolis, you name it, it's all growing in here now. The strawberries already, after showing you the other day, they're already flowering up. So I'm already getting some lovely little um, strawberry flowers. So a nice spring harvest for me. Down the bottom, I need to sort this area out. I've, the, oh, let me show you inside the polytunnel, you won't believe it. Look how quick these lettuces are going. Already they're growing, so a couple of weeks and I'll be having some nice salads. I've still got a pile more to plant out. Spring ins I'm going to use soon. The mint is coming, which I can wear. I love fresh mint sauce. The rhubarb and all the herbs. The chickens are loving the fact now that the front is taken off. And they just got a nice bit of breeze and sunlight coming through. I've really got to get the doors done on this now. So I'm hoping I can build some nice French doors there. I've obviously I've put a step in, so I've had to sacrifice the plants and put them in pots. I hope they can. Um, yeah, so that's the next pro project, is to build these doors, paint it all, maybe like a nice white color, and then I'll show you what it's like all inside. So this is yeah. always loads of little projects to do. Look at the sun. Honestly, you think you were in Spain today. It's been absolutely delightful. Just come over. I spent the last two days of my days off, both over here, just potching around and doing loads of little jobs. Right, I'm going to head home, so thanks again for watching guys and take care.